Hello everybody and welcome back to Blade and Soul. I think we're around episode like six now or something like that. Um, so here we are and we are about to move on to the next area with our lovely duo here, the um, Tigre or Tiger, however you want to pronounce it. Feel free to, you know, say it how you wish. And our pet Tabby. Tabby. Top. Our pet Tabby, Tabby. Yeah. Um, so... Let's, without further ado, jump right in to the next area. Okay, so... This is a pretty cool thing here. Maybe uh, we'll see if we can push it for time, but this is where we're going to encounter some of the first stuff that uh, we're going to see repeating uh, a lot more often in the game, such as boss fights. Um, there's one right over here is, is a boss fight. Um, I kept running into him on another character. So uh, There's also a the first of several training missions that we get to do, and um, some other stuff as well. And I'm just going to attack this dude. Oh, so that's what the flower thing does. I actually start to, like, leech health out of them. That's cool. I like that. I, I'm actually pretty excited about this class so far. Um, the other character that I've got is... Um, well, I've got two, actually. The one I've been playing, though, with a, a friend of mine is... We've been playing with me as a... Um, uh, I want to say boxer, martial artist, whatever. The the person with the fist weapons, right? And that's a really fun class. It's really, really complicated, but uh, it's really, really a lot of fun. Okay, so... Uh, hey, how you doing? Okay, so, uh, he's saying, oh, we're the guy that was sent by, I'm assuming, the old man. He's like, ah, I was wondering what kind of person you would be, and blah, 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 blah. Okay. Oh, okay, so he's saying, oh, we're the guy that was sent by, I'm assuming, the old man. He's like, ah, this is my hand. I think we're supposed to assume he's wearing a mask. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Okay, so he's telling us I think my cat should do a little victory dance thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured out there was a... There was a way of dancing, and it was really obnoxiously hard to do. You have to be able to type in Japanese. Um, oops. Oh. Wait, that's not... That, no, I want O. Oh, do. And then Ro. And it doesn't work. Look at my amazing skills. Okay, so this, the purple stuff here is beginner's level quests. Thank you. Shush. Um, so those purple quests that you get, see this little indicator here, those are to do training quests and we're going to find this little guy I don't want to give away too much but we're going to find this little guy who's going to show us how to do some of the more complicated stuff with our class and some of these on the more advanced classes like the uh, assassin and the um, martial artists or whatever they're they're really complicated I mean this is going to be one of the first ones so it's going to be really really easy but um, later on, they get really complicated. We're talking about strings of like five, six things in a row where you have to wait for the timing to get it right on each part of it in order to get off some sort of like super combo. 
which looks freaking amazing, but yeah. It's not very practical in combat all the time. Okay, if you thought the chick that was looking at the mirror constantly was narcissistic, this this lady's just amazing. <laughs> okay, I think what she's saying that people run up to her and they're so shocked by their be her beauty that they immediately run away into the forest. <laughs> Lady, I don't think that's beauty. That's why they're running away. And I think you might be confused. Oh wow, she's really narcissistic. All I'm hearing is like, my beauty, my beauty, my beauty. So, um, you can take your beauty and your short stature and hang on to it. Okay, I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit here and, uh, kind of skip through some of the dialogue because we will be here all day long just listening to the dialogue on these guys if we don't because um, there's a lot lot of spoken dialogue in this game so okay um, he wants us to go get something, obviously, and so does everybody else. And oh, this is the guy that was injured. He managed to get up, get out of bed. Oh, he does have his other arm, he's just holding his back. I mean, from this angle, it looks kind of like they like amputated his arm and they wrapped the little scarf thing around it. Interesting design choice there. Um, but no, he's 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 got all of his body parts there, assumedly. Um, I love how the guy standing next to him is just like, huh, I look like such an awesome guy next to this, like, bleeding dweeb. I spend a lot of time every day staring at my fingernails. Um, and in here is nothing. Okay. Not sure why that's an instance. Then. So we'll go out. And... Um, meow, go get him. Not really sure who got that one first. He did, apparently. This is great. I mean, they're not even hitting me. I also love the, the, the cat, the noise it makes, just... It launches itself into the enemy and it's just boom. And you hear it just meow. Okay, we need the yellow stuff. In vials. Let's not go where everybody thinks we're going with the whole like vials full of yellow liquid pulled off of random bandits. I'm sure it's not what you think. Let me shoot you with my lovely flowers. Yes, had enough, eh? Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, okay. 
So we got that, and we need... Oh, that's the noise it makes when you get aggroed. That'd be it again. Now these things are what we need. <laughs> go cat! Wait, where'd you go? Oh, wait. No sweat. So I need to collect purple flowers off of those things. Oh, there's one over here. Okay. So two more flowers. Hmm. I'm not seeing any more of the little fat things. Spoke too soon. So overpowered. Okay, cool. So when you get a chest like that, it's um it's it's got like some sort of item other than just like normal quest items so like that was some sort of what um looks like a, a mage glove thingy this is i don't know what but it's for my class oh it's a staff thing okay doesn't really look like a staff thing oh and we got a, an item to, uh, quest item. I've got a plant. It might be a shrubbery. Do you want this? I bring you a shrubbery. Oh, yep, he wanted it. Enjoy that. やはり報告書を作成していたのですね。ビジュを目にして記録しておきたい気持ちはわかりますが、まあ、私どうやら彼は私ではない。she just kind of annoys me. I can't quite put my finger on it. She's really annoying. Dude, you might be in trouble right now, but you are gonna have some really kick-ass looking scars once this is all over. You're gonna be like, surrounded by the ladies and being like, Oh, this is from what's his name, the pirate who like we mercilessly slaughtered and all that blood and stuff. Oh, like oh, I've still got my old uniform that I was wearing up there in the closet and it's still got all the blood stains on it and yeah. yeah. Macho hey. moment. Yeah. We Hello, Chami. If you are interested in playing this and you do work out how to go through the, uh, oh, hello. Batman might be down here. Um, but if you do work out how to play this and, uh, you're interested, feel free to, uh, say hi to me if you show up on the server. And if you want to know what server I'm playing on, I can't pronounce it for you. You're going to have to look at video number one, which shows me making the character and at some point towards the end of that I think I have to pick the server when I name the character so you can look at that and you'll know which server I'm on so um, yeah but feel free to uh, drop me a line and say hi if you end up playing when I'm playing hmm? um. 
<笑>よし何の用か言ってみよう団長の使いだとですか,そうかご苦労だったよくわしがここにいると分かったな<笑>ずいぶん好奇心が強いわわしが聞いた I am not doing anything suspicious I'm just going to run away Oh, these little things are fantastic. First off, they're neutral. So I didn't really need to kill him, but I did. Just so I could show you guys this. You can pick stuff up. Like this. And then you get close enough. And you see, I've got the icons down there. I can press 4 and drop it. Or I can press the left button and chuck it. And it does a lot of damage. Oh, I'm not a melee character. I'm just going back. What's great is later on in some of the bandit camps, you can pick up bombs, throw them at a guy. It does AoE damage, so it might take out a few guys in the area if they're close. But then they might drop bombs, so you can just like run through an area just chucking bombs at people. It's great. And here's the thing that's kind of funny. These things are kind of cute in a bit of a disturbing way. They're just a little, like, imp holding on to this giant lantern. I actually feel a bit guilty for killing that one, but... Yeah. He gives me ammunition, so... Sorry. This class is so ridiculously overpowered. You killed her before I could do the bees. I want the bees. Oh, we got the boss. Bosses don't look like anything particularly special in a lot of the areas, except for they have a, a unique name. Ha! Bees on you. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty effective. And he's he's dead. Uh, what do we got? Got a new quest item. Ah, uh, so report of the plan. That's not obvious or anything. Uh, oh, I have enough money to expand this. Cool. I will do that. And then these backpack things that they gave us earlier, it now, from here on out, it costs those in order to uh, get the upgrade. And you can get those from doing missions and things like that. I think from leveling up as well. So I'll go ahead and use those. So they're gone, and poof, now we've got a pretty good size inventory. But I'm going to need eight to do anything else. Um, the other thing we can do, which I completely forgot about, is if I hold down shift and click on this, this pops up the uh, upgrading window. And I can actually right click to sacrifice some of these other things that we don't need to it. Um, so I think this is like my chances or how well it's going to improve it. So I'll do that. That was very successful. And you can see this goes up. And then I still have more. So we're just going to do this. This is an axe. I'm not going to need that. So now it's level 2 and its stats are going up. So, every time I do this, it just gets better. It does cost me a little bit of gold. I guess, so. But, pretty cool, just a way of uh, upgrading your stuff. So, 
in theory, I am now more um, equipped than before. And then at the end of pretty much every dungeon, there's going to be a chest like this. And, oh, hang on a second. Um, to open it, you're going to need to be carrying around some of these keys. And you get these things by the truckload. So you're not going to really have a problem with them as long as you just, like, run around and do the quest. And we get ID tags, a health potion, and a repair hammer. And there's a big old fish. Okay. So now we are done with this dungeon, except for the training quest, which I was talking about earlier, this purple thing. These are almost always found in dungeons that you go through. So uh, we'll hop down in here. There he is. He says, you did a good job coming this far. I'll have you show me your homu haru whatever. The school of arts that we were formerly training in before all hell broke loose and we kind of got knocked off the island. Um... Uh, Gee, dude, you look kind of familiar. So this is what I was talking about with the uh, stuff before. Now, I don't think you can die in these, but he shows up there. You can see very clearly it wants me to do some action with V. What was that? With v, and then with C. Maybe I have to have him fighting him, and then we do... Oh, there we go. And they usually make you do it a few times, so... So I need to hit him with V. Uh, oh, okay, I can see it now down there at the, the bottom of the screen. It's recharging. So V... Knock him down, and then C, big hammer. But yeah, basically, nobody's doing any damage to each other during this. Okay, he's being real picky. Um, when you hear that dong dong noise, that means you've actually done it right. So I need to be faster about it, I guess. In the meantime, I just get to sit here while I'm waiting for cooldowns and be entertained by my cat beating the crap out of a dog. Oh, that one didn't count. So I gotta do it really fast. It's just like one after another almost immediately. Yeah, go Tavi! Okay, let's do this real quick. Okay, so that's the second time. I need to do it one more time. Now you can actually see it over there on the right side of the bar. I got two out of three. Never mind that my cat is on fire. Okay, here we go. As expected of Homo Hara or whatever. You still don't understand? <laughs> so he managed to survive the attack on the island. He's really glad that he found us. So, somehow or other, 
he managed to survive the attack and he has basically been kind of like hanging out now and um, he picks up the role of being our trainer in light of uh, the previous sensei teacher person kind of going like badass berserk and then getting killed. So basically he's telling us we need to train more. And from time to time he will pop up and we will get a new purple thing over here to click on and he usually shows up in the middle of some dungeon somewhere and you go talk to him and then we can run over here and use this and it'll take us right outside of the entrance to the dungeon. Oh, speaking of our old teacher. Love that little loading bar. That's just so cool. All right. Well, um, that's about it. We've once again gone way over time here, but, uh, you know, dungeons don't exactly uh, play towards the uh, average person's time constraints. So um, that's going to be it for this episode. So as always, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, if you like what you see, you can like, comment, and subscribe down below. And we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.